My name is Jesse Vick. I'm a bullfighter. They call me the outlaw just because of the way I fight bulls. The job of a bullfighter is basically to be a better diversion, to attract the bull to you more than the bull rider because usually when they get off, they hit the ground and they're slow to get up. They're obviously a dead target, so we put ourselves in harm way to make sure that they're not hit. I don't know if you can put into words what it's actually physically and mentally like riding a group. I can't think of anything better. You got adrenaline, you know, you're doing something that uh, a lot of people don't even know about. And even few people would ever even think about doing. And even when you, you have a bad day and you buck off, it's still better than a, a good day at work. I've torn both of my groins twice. I've broken two ribs, fractured my sternum, broke my nose, I punctured an artery. Other than that, it's just little bumps and bruises. A good bullfighter is attitude. When I'm in the arena, it's a lot of joking around because you want to take your mind off of the inevitable. You could break bones, you could die. I've broken both my ankles three times. I've uh, broken my wrist. I've had four surgeries. One of them was life-threatening. A little step on my stomach. And I still love it. I still come back. Getting hurt is part of it, um, but being tough is, is a big aspect of being a bullfighter. If you're if you're not tough, you won't make it very long and then you'll end up quitting. It's a rewarding job knowing that you only have two feet and the bull that you're up against has four. So when you beat that bull and he outweighs you 10 times, um, and you save a cowboy, that cowboy coming to you and telling you, thank you so much. That goes a long way with us. I've been riding bulls since I was about 16. Uh, it's just something I love to do and I can't get away from it even if I wanted to. It's, it's not just a hobby, it's a, it's a passion. It's something that if for some reason I couldn't do anymore, I don't know what I would do. Uh, I mean, I'd go crazy. It's the love of my life.